guys welcome to our channel at the Lisa Kenya where we are going to show you how to bake simple recipes so today we are going to make a red velvet cake with very few simple ingredients that you can find in your house for this recipe we are going to be doing dry ingredients and wet ingredients separately so you start by measuring out your dry ingredients which are two cups of all-purpose flour next you're going to take baking soda one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder then to this you're going to add a tablespoon of cocoa powder this is dark cocoa then you sift out your dry ingredients now we're going to do the wet ingredients the wet ingredients include eggs uh, vegetable oil some vinegar vanilla essence and buttermilk Add in two eggs. We add one cup of buttermilk. That's one cup. To this, you're going to add one cup of vegetable oil. You add in your vanilla, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then now you're going to mix all this together. You can use a hand mixer, you can use a whisk, anything that you have there at home. So to this you're going to add in your sugar. So you're going to add one and a half cups. You're going to mix in your sugar. So to this I'm going to add in one teaspoon of vinegar. The vinegar helps to activate the baking soda that's in the flour. And this the end product just make sure all the sugar particles are completely dissolved so guys remember to preheat your oven for at least 10 to 15 minutes so this is a timer i'm going to set it at 60 at 180 degrees celsius so also make sure to grease your baking tin these are 1 kg baking tins that you're going to bake in but you're going to put divide the butter into two so that they can bake and rise well we're boiling some water which you're going to put as the last ingredient you need half a cup of hot coffee just use one sachet and then measure out your water in half a cup so this is our wet ingredients over here and i'm adding in the dry ingredients half of the dry mixture goes in first so i'm going to add in my red food color as you see at this point the cake looks brown measure out just maybe like a quarter teaspoon red color don't go in so heavy on the food color because it has a sort of bitter aftertaste but you can also balance this out with some bit of vinegar let me put like two drops it helps to infuse the color into the cake so for the last step you add in your hot coffee this is the last step that just brings everything together and pour in about 500 which would be like half of the butter and into your baking tin it should get to at least halfway of the baking tin so my oven has been preheating i'm going to put in the cake now the reason why i bake it on this rack is because yeah my oven is kind of small so if i put in the black tray it won't fit well the two of them together just put them like that at an angle and let them bake for 30 to 40 minutes check on it insert your wooden stick or just a toothpick at the center if it comes out clean, your cake is ready. 